what am I going to do? Those sheep are watching Christian TV. I can't stand it. Those sheep will never follow me. And I'll starve. What am I going to do now? Think. Think. Stinking thinking. Wait, I got it. Nah, that won't work. Yeah, yeah, that will work. I'll go where they go and do what they do unnoticed. I'll wear sheep clothes just like them. Then they'll become my friends. And some of them, yes, some of them will follow me. We will go right out that fence and I'll tell them how mean the shepherd is to put up that fence. They'll follow me right out of that fence and then lunch time, yum, yum. They will never suspect one of their own. this verse three times and I just don't get it. Papa's Bible. Let me make sure I got Papa's. I might have put somebody's in there. Yeah, Archie Lee Calvert Sr. I've got his Bible, but I don't understand it. He put a cross reference in here and they don't go together. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it one more time. Matthew 7, 13. Enter ye at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Hmm. But straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. And here's the part I get confused about. Beware of false po prophets. That's people that tell lies. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. Now, wait a minute. This is, this is what really gets me confused. Over here in John 10, Papa has a cross-reference, and then it says, after all that sheep stuff and, and wolves, it says, I am the door, and that's, that's Jesus talking. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Ugh. I am come, Jesus said, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. <sighs> hey, where'd this fence come from? What? That, there's a fence out. Do I hear something? What? Uh-oh. Uh there's a... Hey, excuse me. Uh, are you a shepherd? Yes, yes, Miss Vicky. You, you, you are a shepherd, and, and you knew that this was behind the waterfall. Oh yes, yes. I'm, I'm lo looking for my lost sheep. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you lost some sheep? Yes, I, 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 th That's my fence. I, I brought to get repaired. Oh, that's yours. Yes. Well, I wondered uh, where it came from. Yes. Um. Mr. Shepherd. Uh, I, I, I just, did, did the sheep jump over your fence and break it and get out? I think something helped them to do it. Something uh, broke it. Oh. And, and I got them all, heard, I got them all back in, yeah. but one. I got one missing. You, you know, I, I read, Mr. Shepherd, that this staff is something that you reach over and you grab the sheep and you pull it up. Is that where their little belly goes? Yes, that's right. I, I, you grab it and, went, and, and you hook them with it and pull it up and you just hold them gently. Put them back inside the fence. Well, there's a lot of lamb's wool uh, hooked up underneath that. Yeah, a lot of them got out. I've, I've been doing it all day. I bet but, you're tired. Yeah. But, but did you catch them all? No. I got, one's missing. One? Her name's Margot. Margot? I've been looking. I've been putting footprints down because 
She follows my foot, foot they follow my footprints. Really? Wow. Yes, yes. yes. That's awesome. Is this a bucket of feed? Are you leaving a trail with the food? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. no? They, my sheep know my voice, and they follow my footprints. No, I, I brought this basket to, to leave with you. Huh. And if you happen to see Margo, you, would you pick her up and put her in the basket gently? I will. If she follows those footprints behind the waterfall, I promise you, I'll put her in there real easy and, okay. and try to take... You going to come back today? Yes, I'll come back and check. All right, well, check and make sure, because she might come. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mr. Shepherd. I, I, oh, you're making more footprints. Yes, so she'll, she'll know. She'll see my footprints, and she'll follow. Okay. Well, I'll just put this basket over here, and if I see Margot, I think... I didn't know that. I had no idea that a shepherd knew all of his sheep by name. Well, that's really cool, isn't it, Word Bird? Wow, it is. Who was that, Miss Vicky? It was a shepherd, and he's lost one sheep, and he knows it oh, by name. Oh, no. And he went after it. Well, Miss Vicky? Yes. I'm so glad there was a shepherd on behind the waterfall today. You are? Oh, yes. Why is that, Word Bird? Because it's time for the Word, and the Word of God says... The Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23, 1. Yeah. Oh, Lord Bird, we have something in the word window. Oh, I love the word window. Me too, it's so Christ. That means Jesus the Lord. You know, Lavish, Jesus is the shepherd of our hearts and our lives too, isn't he? Yeah, he sure is. And you know, Miss Vicky, what? that shepherd will... I don't know, Margo, but the shepherd reminded me of You do? You feel like a sheep sometimes? Yeah. What, well, what happened to you that made you feel that way? Well, I was at the mall with my mommy, and, well, we were walking around, and, oh, I saw this bubblegum machine, and, and the little boy went to it, and, and I went to it right after him. And then I turned around, and, oh, I turned around, and... What happened? She was gone. Your mommy was gone? Yeah, and I, I was lost. Oh, Lavish, that's terrible. Yeah, just like Margo. Yeah, you were lost like Margo, but w w I know your mother was looking for you, oh. just, just like the shepherd was looking for his little sheep. Yeah, she was, and you know what? What is it, Lavish? Well, I looked around, mm -hmm. and I found a policeman, and then... He found my mommy for me. He did, Lavish? Yeah, I was oh, so glad to see my mommy again. You know, Lavish, it's really scary to get lost, isn't it? It sure is. I feel bad for Margo. I feel bad for Margo, too, because she could be in real danger somewhere. Yeah, and she needs her shepherd. She certainly does. 
And I'm glad that God is our shepherd and, and He leads us and He protects us and He teaches us the truth and teaches us to walk at, watch out for false prophets and false teachings and false things that are against the Word of God. We have to watch out for those things and He's the shepherd who helps us watch out for wolves who want to come in and, and steal our joy. Yeah, and, and I know a song about God. You do? Yeah. Oh, Levish, please sing me your sweet song. good speller what? but there's definitely a problem here yeah this word does not spell obedience no. something is bad wrong with this word wait a minute it, it does spell a word all by itself right here it spells oil, oil. And, oh that makes me think about about the shepherd's oil I, yes the truth trunk knew just how the shepherds take oil and they pour it on the sheep when they get hurt or, or when the flies and bugs are bothering them. Because, you know, those flies and bugs, they can kill the little sheep because they can't get them out of their wool. Oh. And they have to have the shepherd's good oil. Oh. I'm just going to put it on right here in case Margot shows up. She may need some. Yeah. Uh, and we have to have the oil of God in our lives called well, his presence, him being near us in order to keep the devil away from us. And, oh, uh, oil? Wait a minute. I'm going to work on this fence, okay? Okay. Obedience is O-B-E-D-I-E. And if you don't have the oil of the Lord in your life, you certainly can die. Yeah. We need his oil to protect our life. We now, do. let's spell it. O-B-E-D-I-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Now, that spells obedience. You know, Margot was not obedient, and she followed something or someone out of that fence. And she did not have the oil, the protection that she needed from God to obey him, and she could die if she's yeah. not found soon. Oh, Obedience is very important.
important, isn't it, Lavish? It sure is. She needs it. You hear something? Yeah. Oh, I do too. You need the oil. Oh, oh, look, look. Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on, get into it. I've got a couple stories to tell you. It's about being obedient. I learned my lesson. B O B E T I E N T. Obedient is the way to be. When you obey God and your family, you'll be on the track to victory. One day I was driving in a real fast car. Let's say it didn't take long to go real far. I stepped on the gas and watched cars pass. I don't know what speed, but I know real fast. The speed limit number was way down there. With how fast I was going, it didn't compare. Well, that's when I saw the flashing lights in the mirror. The noise was getting louder and the cops were getting nearer. It took a little while for me to slow down, but when I did, the cop approached with a frown. Do you know how fast you was going, young man? I said that I didn't know, but it was as fast as I can. I got a big fine and a lot more trouble. I wish I hadn't made that speed limit double, but it just goes to show when you obey, you stay out of plenty trouble that way. B-O-B-E-D-I-E-N-T Obedient is the way to be When you obey God and your family Be on the track to sweet victory yeah. My best friend Marty had a little party He called me up and said don't be tardy Cause it's going to be the event of the year And a negative answer I don't want to hear I asked mom if I could go to Marty's house. If you clean your room, then you can go out. Uh, vacuum the floor and then make your bed. But I decided to watch TV instead. Calabunga. I went to the party, didn't clean my room. The bash went quick and I had to go soon. When I came back home, I had a really bad feeling. Cause my mom freaked out and my dad hit the ceiling. Oh. I pleaded with mom and tried to take a stand. When dad walked in with the Bible in his hand. He told me that when you obey, you'll stay out of plenty trouble that way. Yeah. B O B E T I E N T. Obedient is the way to be. When you obey God and your family, be on the track to victory. Yeah. B O B E E D I E N T. Oh. Yeah. Be obedient to your family. Oh. Break it down right here. Oh. And try to be obedient, especially to God. Man, it's so important, Lavish, to be obedient. Oh, Brightly, it's so good to see you today. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Brightly. Hello, Wordbeard. Hello, Miss Vicky and Lavish. Hi. We, we've been talking about sheep today. Did you know the Lord is the shepherd of people? And I see a story. I'm not even going to wait for you to tell me about it. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's a story about a, a little lamb that got lost. Really? I, I guess yeah. you were ready because... Have you seen Margot? No, I haven't seen her. I heard she got lost, though. Yeah, she really did. And, and you know, I was thinking that maybe if you happen to be flying around and you see Bright, you see the little Margot anywhere, Brightly, right. will you please come in and tell me? I will. I'll make a special effort to go look for okay, her. Okay, because I have anointing oil to put on her because she's going to need some. All right. All right, tell me the story, Margot. I'm down in a well. It's cold and it's deep. I hear a wolf howl. Is he hungry for me? Prickers and stickers are stuck in my wool. Why did I wander away like a fool? My belly is empty. There's mud on my head. Back home, all my friends by the shepherd are fed. Perhaps if I cry, just as loud as I can. Why? Hear the cry of the lamb. Why? Hear the cry of the little lost lamb. Wait! 
I hear my name called by a voice that I know. I feel my courage starting to grow. He's risking his life to gather me in to be with him. Now it's all right. The shepherd has come. He's taking me up and he's taking me home. Now it's Until you found the lamb who was lost No matter the time, no matter the cost A sinner in the grip of hell Is like a poor lamb lost in a web Cry out to the shepherd and he'll hear your voice and Jesus will save you as the angels rejoice Jesus will save you as the angels rejoice. Wait, you'll hear your name called by a voice that you know. You'll feel your courage starting to grow. He's given his life to gather. i 
days of my life.